Oh shit, it's recording. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Wake My Light, also known as Wake, uh, Wake for short, obviously. So today we're gonna go over how to set up your Razer, your, sorry, your Corsair Scrimtar to be a lot like your Razer Nago from back in the day. So we're gonna set it up so that it will use your numpad keys as, um, as opposed to whatever the default is and stuff, right? Um, so first we're going to go ahead and make a profile in the IQ, uh, in the IQ app, right? So first, we're, you'll see this little plus button here, right? We're gonna go ahead and hit that. That'll create your new profile, and then we can rename it to whatever, right? So I had already renamed mine, but we'll go ahead and rename this one to Stream Test 2, right? So when you first make your profile, it's going the actions will be completely empty, right? So we're gonna go ahead and go back to Stream Test 1 just so you guys can see. All right, so here we have uh, one of the buttons already mapped. I'm going to show you guys, of course, how to map buttons correctly, right? So right now we have the first key button on the side is mapped to your numeric keypad, all right? So you're like, okay, well, how do you do this? Glad you asked. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit this little plus button, okay? First, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, what are we mapping, right? So we're going to do the numeric keypad, okay? So we're going to do Numeric keypad two, right? So number two, and then where is it going to be bound to, right? So it's going to be bound to also known as G two, okay? So as you can see, if you're following along, right, and you're pretty much mapping it to what your numpad would do, um, you're going to do to do this for all the keys, right? So we'll go ahead and just go ahead and go through all these real quick. It's a little bit painstaking process, but once you have it done the first time, you never have to do it again, right? So continue on with three. Go to three. Okay. For each time, you have to go down to the macro, numeric keypad, right? Keypad four goes to four. Same thing. Five. Go to five. Six to six. Right. And we continue down, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just do those six so you guys see what it is. Um, I'm also gonna show you the, the last last little bit actually. So um, you also see 11 and 12, right? Because most of you guys are like, okay, well, there's that's one through zero, but what do I do for the other ones, all right? So for number 12, right? If we go back to, if we add another one. Oops, go to actions. Go to numeric keypad, right? So you also have 11 and 12. So 11 is your minus sign, right? So you're going to remap the minus sign. We'll go to 11. And if we add another one, numeric keypad, 12 will go to your plus sign. Okay, just like that. Um, then you also have the three buttons. They're actually on the top. Right, so these two, these buttons right here, and your middle button, right? Because you have to remember that when you make a new profile, all of your buttons, except for your left and right click, pretty much, and uh, your scroll, but your left and right click now uh, function correctly, and then nothing else actually has has any meaning, right? This is just a blank profile, right? So we're gonna go ahead and add number, add things to those. So we're going to remap your DPI toggle, right, which is your bottom button. We're going to map that to the a mouse button, and the bottom button is your back button. Okay. Um, then we'll do another one, right? So this top button here, we're going to map it to another mouse button, and this will be your forward button. Okay. So uh, forward, backward, and then you also need to map if you're like me and you do use your metal, your middle click for scroll, right? Um, you're also going to remap that. So we're going to take your middle click. We're going to mouse button that to middle button. Okay. So now you have your left, right, middle, right. Your left and right click are already, already going to be mapped, right? So as you see here, right, we have one through six, 11, 12. Um, we can go ahead and add the other ones if we really wanted to. If you're a real big sticker, like I usually am, right? Like this would kind of annoy me where numpad six, seven, all that fun stuff, right? But keypad seven, we'll go to, if we go over here. So you can actually switch your profile, right? 
to number seven, right? Um, how you switch your views are these three dots that are right here, right? One, two, three. Um, but the ones that you'll mainly be working with for your view to set, set up your mouse will be one and three right here, okay? Um, so once all of that is done, what you're going what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do two things, right? You're going to want to save it to your library. And then what I always tell people after the fact is you want to export. Right? You want to export this profile. All right? So you're going to take it where you're going to name it name it stream it's already named as stream test. What are you going to, going to be doing? So you can do if you want to you can do only your actions. You can do your actions or your DPI. Your DPI is going to be, you know, how fast your mouse is going to be moving, moving and stuff. How much it's reacting, um, how sensitive your mouse is. That's what a lot of what your DPI is going to, going to be intrinsic of, right? But you can just go here to export, select the profile that you want to export, and then you'll export it. So it's going to export it as a .q profile, right? So for me, you know, you can just save it to your desktop um, and just name it numpad stream right um, the other thing you can do with your profile if we go back to just the profile itself you can actually also link it to a program so if you wanted to right you could actually find um, you know lesson like wow dot exe right or you can well, the best way to do it is actually to browse to that game right so i have an nvme i'll go ahead and go to diablo 3 right so then i'm going to find the application diablo 3 and every time every every time that uh program starts it's going to load that profile and i'll actually even change your icon and everything um so for me my save me is actually this is a this is a full done product right but my save me is actually my entire numpad right so if you look through here right all my stuff is keybound so this is just the name right so this is just remap numeric keypad 1 right is as isn't actually saying okay remap keypad number 1 is the actual number 1 this is just saying this is the first remap that I did right um but you're just going to like you see here right i would remap the main thing you need to be careful, careful is any clicks you do outside of this can change. So always, if you are making changes, make sure you're going through and making sure they actually set that everything is set correctly. And if you do make a change, so like let's say G1, I decide to do somewhere else, there's a little reverb button, right? So if I was to do to G2, see how G2 goes away? I can actually revert and I'll go back to G1, but I need to go back to this one and map it to G2, okay? Um, but once that's done, that's that, right? Um, thankfully, it's all pretty much set and forget. But if you ever notice that, oh, shoot, my stuff isn't working, right? Um, you need to check one of two things. Make sure that your numpad lock is on. Um, so you see the little light above your above your one on your keyboard usually is set is on for a lot of these to work. And then also you need to make sure um, that IQ is running. If IQ is not running, or at least in your system tray down here, then it will look like a I with a C looking up this way. Um, if it is not running, then your profile is not working, right? Um, so that is how you set up your Scrimtar to be just like a Razer Naga. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to hit subscribe, like my videos, and you guys can catch me on stream and come ask me any questions you get your heart desires at twitch.tv slash wake my light there will be a description it, it, a link will be in the description um i'm gonna make more videos like this uh so please just stick around and i'll see you guys later